Hey guys, Matt Wakeling here. You're listening to the Guitar Speak podcast. Well, this morning in Australian time, we got the terribly sad news that Eddie Van Halen, at the age of 65, had passed away. Now, Eddie would easily be one of the most, if not most, influential rock musicians of the last four decades. And I intend to put together a podcast to honour his impact and his legacy on all of us. But in the meantime, I thought it would be appropriate to look back at a conversation I had with Dave Leslie. Now, Dave is, of course, the guitarist with The Baby Animals. And in the early 90s, they did some extensive touring with Van Halen. And as a result, Dave ended up with a bunch of fantastic stories and a guitar, um, thanks to the generosity of one Eddie Van Halen. So we're going to listen back to uh, that portion of the conversation. Now, if uh, if you haven't heard the full interview yet, and it's a couple of years old, I'll, I'll put the... Uh, I'll put a link in the show notes so you can check that out too. Dave's entire story is well worth catching. But this particular focus on Eddie Van Halen is, uh, of course, wholly appropriate to have a look at today. So I hope you enjoy the, the stories. Take care, and I'll catch you guys soon. Bye now. Man, tell me about touring with Van Halen. Um, yeah, well, what can I say? Rock and roll dream come true. It was... Um, what, 12 semi-trailers worth of gear, 10 buses of worth of personnel. Um, wow. Was it just a, ju- a juggernaut that went from, from town to town? We did two legs of um, the F-U-C-K tour. Mm-hmm. It was a massive tour. We, I think it was, well, more than 60 gigs. I know that much. Wow. It was a lot, it was a lot of shows, and we were always really well accommodated too as far as Every time it was, we were able to get a sound check, they let us have a sound check. Um, you know, it was, we were really well looked after. It was, it was great. It was such a good experience. Yeah, cool. And, it, you know, we'd do 40 minutes of our hardest hitting stuff. Yeah. And then, you know, we're faced with, well, we go and do a meet and greet because we're out there selling our record. So we go and meet some people and, and have a bit of a thing. And um, then we're faced with a bucket full of beer and Van Halen's on in 10 minutes. Oh my God, <laughs> what are you going to do? <laughs> that, that's your evening sorted, man. That's your Saturday that's, night. Uh, yeah, I think I, yeah, every night was like a Saturday night, man. It wow. was so much fun. Wow, that's yeah. cool. And how about Ed? Because you guys struck up a friendship and uh, you ended up with one of his, one of his guitars. Yeah, um, as I was saying, yeah, we really well looked after. Good bunch of guys. Isn't it funny, the guys, they've been there and done that and have nothing to prove. They, they're just, you know, really, really quite down to earth. And they were always hanging out in our band room and, and coming in to visit and, um, yeah, yeah, always knocking, you know, knock, say, good, say good day and all that sort of thing. And uh, Ed would always have, a, you know, a guitar on him and, and we'd, we'd jam on some ACDC and we'd have, a, we'd have disagreements over who got to be Malcolm because he always wanted to be Malcolm. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, I'm not, I'm not being Angus in front of your Malcolm. <laughs> you, you be Angus and I'll be Malcolm. Because he, he knew all those solos, you know, he's a oh, massive really? ACDC wow, fan. Yeah, cool. yeah. Yeah, so we'd play like Riff Raff and Dog Eat Dog and all this sort of stuff backstage. It was it was a lot of fun, man. Wow. It was really well, well versed in, in that sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, and then, yeah, one day he just walked in casually, you know, had this guitar case with him. And he goes, hey, come over here. Yeah, come here. So he opens up the case and there's this red EVH music man. I said, oh, cool, man. Is that your new guitar? And he goes, no, it's your new guitar. Ah, <laughs> <Wow>. oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, brother. That's so cool. It was, it was very cool. It was really good. Yeah, yeah. It's, you know, it was. Um, and then spent the next well, probably four or five years playing the dickens out of it, man. Yeah. I think I, I think I wore the finish off that, played the finish off it. That's yeah. cool, man. That's very yeah, cool. cool. Still got it. It's under my bed right now. Nice. Nice. Actually, it needs a new fret, a set of frets. I might have to get it refretted at some point. Okay. So I can <laughs> take it back out. But yeah, it was a it was a cool. It was that was a dream come true, man. Absolutely. Yeah. Wow. You know. And awesome. just we jam, you know, we he get up and jump, I jump up with our, our sound checks, and we jam some Jeff Beck. Um, one of the gigs that was, I think, the, the last night of the first run, of the first leg, um, we had a, we did a bit of a, got together backstage and um, sorted out a, a bit of a loose arrangement of Highway Star. Oh, yeah, um, cool. With the, the dual guitar bits and everything like that. Mike, and then for our last song of the night, Mike Anthony came and sang, Ed, Ed and Mike Anthony came and played it with us. 
And so Mike Anthony sang because he's got that high voice, man. He yeah, sang yeah. the out of it. It was awesome. <laughs> and me and Ed are doing like the dual guitar bits, you know? Oh, man. I was like, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty mighty. It was monumental, actually. Nice, man. I just, I, it's funny because it's only through um, recalling it and things like that where I kind of, it really hits home and it, actually how special it was. And the, and the, and the further away it, it is, the more special it was, you know what I mean? Uh-huh. It, was, it was pretty, yeah, it was really cool. Yeah. Fantastic. I'm, I'm truly blessed. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, another, um, another listener question. Justin Studley asks, did you learn anything from Eddie, whether you know, it was in those jams or just watching him do his thing every night? Not, um, I feel like not, uh, what would you call it, formally? Yeah. He, he'd, he'd, I'd ask him to show me a couple of things. He'd be like, ah, man. You don't want to do this, you know. But I, I sort of learned a lot just from watching the guy play. Yeah, sure. You know, and just the attitude and the the attack and the way that he's not, you know, he's he way he plays rhythm. He's he he comps things and it's always fragmented chords and rhythmic. Mm-hmm. And he's jamming with Alex. He doesn't he doesn't strum G chords. You know what I mean? He's yeah, not, yeah. He's not a he's not a strummy guy. He it's it just it's jagged and it's gunk. It does it does things. It moves. Yeah, all the time, and and so watching, watching that sort of um, had an, an effect on me, you know, rather than having to say sit down with Ed and say get him to yeah, show sure. me how to do that, which he'd get embarrassed about and wouldn't do it anyway. Uh-huh. I tried a couple, tried a couple of times. I <laughs> yeah. even tried to get him to autograph the damn guitar he gave me, and he wouldn't do that. Oh, really? <laughs> you know? Yeah, he's like, ah, man, forget about it. You know, Don't worry about it. <laughs> oh, that's cool. That is very cool. They. Um, Influence-wise, though, they jam every night. Van Halen. Um, okay. In the middle, it really got me. They they'd um, just break down and and just jam. Just let you know to take a band solo or do a cover. Um, it was never rehearsed. Um, they probably had their their staples that they, they would choose from, but uh-huh. um, it was never anything sort of formal or rehearsed. And um, one night they did Crossroads. I mean, they did Born on the Bayou one night, which was amazing. And yeah, wow. but one night they did Crossroads. And I remember, remember being over Ed's side because he had two quad boxes down underneath in his bunker so that his tech, Matt, could um, listen okay. to the sound just to make sure that everything's everything's going okay up on stage. Yeah. And so I'm sitting over there just listening to this guitar sound. And so they do Crossroads, and Ed rips the solo from the live Crossroads Korean thing note for note, like wow. note perfect. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> and this was after a lot of beer and <laughs> drunk. <laughs> you know, he was uh, – he was partying at that point, and right. um, but man, solid as a rock. What a player! Wow. And you think, yeah, well, that that's how good the guy is. You know, he just he chal- he just channels it. He gets up, just um, and plays, and just it's just so intuitive and so musical. You know, it was that was that was what inspired me most. That was sort of yeah, what I got cool. most from. Yeah, that's awesome, man. That's it's really cool. cool. Very cool. He um. I think he was he was rocking the fifty one fifty amps by then as well. I think did you guys did you end up using like yeah, what we you did. Did back line? We, we had some rental marshals, I think it was nine hundreds yeah. or something like that. And then uh-huh. um it goes, Oh, you wanna try some fifty one fifties? We'll go, you know, when we're in um Ten- uh, Tennessee or wherever they were, where were they? Um uh, I forget the name of the place, the P V factory. We went there and we got sorted oh, out with fifty one fifties. Mississippi. Yeah, Mississippi, that's right. Yeah. yeah. Meridian, Mississippi. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and we got sorted out with back line, which I'm not really sure what happened to. But okay. <laughs> probably sitting in a warehouse or something somewhere. I've yeah, got yeah. no idea. <laughs> but that was good. Yeah, that was good air. Nice, man. So very, they were very gainy, though. You know, that's, yeah, sure. that's the thing. It was like, wow, it was really, really big and, and wide open gain. And I was kind of not... Not quite used to that. I was used to more of the Marshall thing because I'm more of a strummy guy than sure. than the attacky yeah. thing. But well, I got used to it pretty quick. I mean, they sounded pretty good. So, yeah, yeah. good times. <laughs> Very cool. <laughs> I'm glad well, they were really good times. I'm glad I took so many photos. Otherwise, I probably wouldn't be able to remember. Them, you know. <laughs> 